Hey guys, Brent here. So yeah, I'm wearing my uh, Nintendo shirt. Yeah, now you get to see what I look like without my my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> I just I uh, try something different. I even got shaved. You know, I don't look I don't look as bad as I usually do. So I'm pretty much just gonna run through the pre-order costs of the games, you know, give you guys an idea. I'm doing something a little constructive. These are from the GameStop stuff, and here's something I, I've heard a rumor that GameStop employees have actually been handing out flyers, explaining to people that the Xbox One, what it's going to do, and talk about, you know, its rental policies, and I've talked to actually some employees, ones I've known for years. I would not be surprised if those rumors were true. Pretty much when I asked them, so gonna get an get an Xbox One? They just like looked at me and just like it was both a face of anger and a face of sadness. I feel the same way. I feel angry what they're doing and I feel sad because I loved the Xbox three I love the Xbox three hundred sixty. I still do. Still works. My Xbox has lasted me for a couple of years now. Never went on, never had the red ring. Anyway, but that's beside the point. Hey, let's let's discuss the PS4. Okay, so if you want a single game bundle, you know, get Battlefield 4, Madden NFL, Call of Duty Ghost, which personally I think... I'm tired of Call of Duty always making a game every year. It should probably just stop and do it like every other year so the product is really good instead of just, meh, last year a year. Uh, it will cost you $460, and please know I am estimating to the dollar, so it's pretty much like $59.98, you know, that sort of thing, which I don't like. Let me just... Let's see, do I look good? Yes, I do. If you want a a bundle that which is the Knack and Drive Club bundle, you will get two controllers for five hundred and twenty dollars. It's actually five hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety seven cents. So you save a cent. You save a cent, apparently. Go figure. And if you want the EA Sports Bundle, which gives you the NFL Live, Madden 25, which gives you, you know, NFL, no, I'm sorry, NBA, Madden, and FIFA, you get, it's a grand total of $580. You want know what the sad part is? Probably worth that's twenty dollars more than what you would get for one control one, you know, game bundle deal. I'm not making this up. Five hundred and sixty dollars. It's all because of a hundred dollar connect that not everybody is going to buy. Microsoft this is <sighs> And, of course, the Xbox One EA Sports Bundle will cost you $680. Let's talk, let's talk about how much the controllers cost. And this is thing that is bugging me a bit. This is really going to... This is really bugging me. Both controllers cost $60. Okay. I'm willing to admit that I don't know a thing about, you know, how this technology works. I admit I don't know what kind of stuff you need to do to make sure your wireless controller is hooked up to your Xbox and works properly. I'm not going to lie that I know nothing about it. What I will say, however, is why does the Xbox controller cost the same as the Sony, as the PlayStation 4 one, because PlayStation 4 one has got like a touch screen thing, and I maybe I can understand that maybe you know the PS4 one would cost more, but why does the 
So Xbox One has to cost the same. Why doesn't it just go down ten dollars? It would cost. I don't think it would matter. Actually, it would. Gamers would be like, "Oh, well, well the, the controllers cost less than the PS4." You know, give their supporters something. <laughs> and I mean, I. Why does the controller cost as much as the game? That's what's confusing. That's what's really confusing. I don't know. I don't know why the controllers would cost more. I don't think the hardware costs as much as, say, the development of, you know, vo and payment of voice actors, game, you know, developing the games, levels, writers, blah, 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 blah. I would say a good price would probably be $40. And I'm, I'm probably stretching it. $30 would be a great price for the controllers. I would understand with Sony being costs more because of the touch screen thing. I get that one. I concede that to Sony. But what bugs me is Microsoft. Their controller does not have anything special going for it. So maybe that round button in the middle, but I don't think that's that's justifiable. That the high cost. And that's the thing. Microsoft assumes we can buy everything. Newsflash, Microsoft. Not everybody in the world can afford this console. And this is what's really bugging me. Microsoft assumes we can buy all these stuff new. They assume we can, we have space for the Kinect that we do not want. They assume we have a constant internet connection. Newsflash. There are people who have terrible internet connections and who pretty much say, I won't bother with them. I just want to play the games and not do multiplayer. There are people who cannot afford a console. So, who couldn't even, there's some people who couldn't, who want to play games, who can't even afford a used console. There are people who like to, who can beat a game in less than three days. I beat Rage in six hours on the hardest difficulty. I have beaten Singularity in one in one evening. Normal difficulty. I have beaten many games in a short period of time. And as you can probably guess, if I bought them new, that's not a good investment on my behalf. That's why renting games is good. The only way Microsoft could get away with the the games costing at a full retail price of sixty dollars and not letting us rent anything or use pre-owned games without a fee, the only way they could do that is if they give us the best damn games ever made. 10 out of 10 perfect games for the rest of the console's lifespan. So which is easier? Swallowing your pride in letting us play used games? Or giving us perfect games every time? Which means you would have to get rid of third-party games that you know wouldn't work. And you would lose investors Sirs, as well as game other publishers who pretty much will drop you because they know they can't give you the schlop to fill the store shelves. <laughs> Stupidity is painful. So why do I subject myself to it? Well, maybe because I like you guys and I want you to know. 
I support all everyone. And here's something that's disheartening. Despite everything that the Xbox One has done, people have been pre-ordering it. <sighs> to my followers, to anyone who watches this video, don't buy an Xbox One. Do not buy one. We need to tell Microsoft we don't want your console. The best way to do it... Ugh, where is it? Damn it, where did I put it? I was going to show my wallet and pretty much say, this is... Ugh. Wow, way to ruin the moment. Well, pretty much, pretend I'm holding my wallet. This is what you need to fight with your wallet don't give them the money don't buy at Microsoft points don't buy live subscriptions pretty much say fuck you Microsoft I'm buying Sony I'm buying a PlayStation 4 I will buy a this is something that I promise I will never buy an Xbox One until two circumstances are met. One, it's the end of the life cycle. In other words, the next console is coming out. I would probably buy it, then play the games I want. Two, they change many of the features that I hate. The cost will go down. You don't need a constant internet connection. You can buy rented games. You can play rented games without a fee. Well, people, make your choice. Answer with your wallet. Don't buy or pre-own anything by Microsoft anymore. Take a stand. Boycott them. Show them that we gamers aren't just their money. We're gamers. We're people. We have a say in what we want. Maybe they won't listen. But we should probably speak our mind a bit. Sorry it's been a downer. I know I should have just stuck with the pre-order data, but you know what? It had to be said. And any fanboys who want to troll me and say that I'm just a hater, know this. I've supported the 360 three years or it's th after its third year into its lifespan. I may be a bit of a late comer. But I supported it. I played many of its games. I played, I believe, 53 games out of the 360 its titles. I would say about half of them were 360 exclusives. Yeah. I am a former... Microsoft fanboy. Are you? As always, I'm Brent Hankage, and I'll see you later. Bye.